Hey coach, so glad you found us on YouTube. Subscribe and like. See all my son's shoes there. Ah, uh, that's the first thing. Second thing is go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Let me help you put banners on, on your walls in your basement, win state championships in less time for less than a dollar a day. 14D free trial. You will get you will get my personal email address. You'll get one-on-one -on -one calls, office hours, everything you would want is there and available. So go over and check it out and let's head off to the podcast. Hey guys, this is Coach Van back again with our next video book preview. And today we're going to look at the blocker mover offense. Uh, this offense was made famous by Dick Bennett and uh, most recently uh, by Tony Bennett uh, as they won a national championship with uh, um, the Virginia Cavaliers a couple years ago running this offense, or at least uh, that was kind of their main motion continuity that they like to run out of it. And, uh, but it was also something that Dick Bennett had ran with Wisconsin Green Bay and he ran it with Wisconsin and even ran it, um, both of them, uh, both Bennett's ran it at Washington state with, with a lot of success as well. So um, it's uh, extremely effective offense. It's a continuity offense that you can choose from. And um, uh we're going to take a look at today. So uh, this book has 361 pages in it. Uh, it has over 40 quick hitters to counter what the defense is trying to uh, do to you. And um, it gives you a lot of different ways to, um, to counter how they're going to play you. And uh, we also give you 11 different entry plays to disguise uh, what it is that we want to do. So they think it's a quick hitter coming, but then it's something that flows directly into uh, our blocker mover offense. And uh, we have two continuity mo motion offenses that we also give you in this. Uh, you'll see all this. Um, you'll see the circle and wheel action. And, uh, and we also have a reverse action, but uh, I kind of want to take a look inside. Um, and we'll first start off with, uh, let me blow this up a little bit our blocker mover basic movement rules. And uh, you'll notice that everything is color coordinated in these books. You'll see the blockers are in red, uh, the movers are in blue and how that transitions uh, to the number system here. Um, and uh, it just makes it really easy to know who the, who the blockers are, who the movers are and, and what the pass is. Uh, each frame has a full description of what is happening. Uh, we, we go over the reads, um, that players should be making so the coaches can, you know, teach their players and practice what they should be looking for. Um, you can print these off. You can take them to practice. You can take them to a game, uh, show your assistant coaches on an iPad or iPhone. Um, and it's super accessible too. So uh, every play is like that, but um, I'll go back to this play really quick. I mean, this is our circle wheel action. Uh, you'll see here a pass is made. Uh, the blocker comes up here and one comes off the flare action on the four uh, back screen flare and two centering the ball into the channel where we can either pass to three on the, on the throwback or we can hit one on the, uh, on the flare. Now, if we don't have that, I give you a couple different options here. We decide to pass the ball to three, three centers, and we're in our continuity as we have the flare and then number one now coming off the pin down uh, from the blockers. But uh, one of the reads you can make is a ball screen option. Four comes and sets the screen, three rolls, uh, four is going to pop. Um, and Or you can have four roll and five pop and just go into roll and replace action too as another option. So um, that's just one continuity offense that you can run. But you'll see the whole book is uh, color coded and uh, tons of different options that you can run out of it. So I'll go ahead and take a look at uh, our blocker two double. Hey everybody, I hope you're enjoying the videos. Uh, Coach Van rocks and his videos are awesome. Um, and his playbooks are even better. And down below there's a link um, and some combo, some um, coupon codes for 20 to 25% off either the playbooks or the combo packs. They are awesome. You will not find better playbooks out there. Go over and enjoy them. Let's head back to the video. And you'll see here, again, this is, we'll start off in like a diamond floppy action setup and uh, pass the ball to two. Two will come back into a dribble handoff with one. And then once we do that, uh, number four and number two are going to go set a double stagger for number three. So we're looking for that double. And if two does not have a shot, then we're just going to roll. Um, 
directly into a roll and replace. So that's our option B actually. So um, just another option. And again, more plays. The great part about some of these books that are individual, um, because obviously you can get this in our unscoutable playbook. Um, but the one thing about these individual playbooks is they come with drills. Um, so here you'll see we have our two action shooting drills. That's our uh, terminology. Um, four action drills. Uh, baseline shooting drills, which is also kind of like our runner action. Uh, we have flare action shooting drills. Floppy action shooting drills. And setting and reading screens, we give you over three pages here in setting and reading screens. And this is huge. This is what you want to use in practice because obviously you got players coming off those blocker screens and the blockers are there to be set in screen after screen after screen. And you want your players to be able to read, you know, what they should be doing. They need to be able to read the defender. Are they curling? Are they flaring? Um, what are they doing? So uh, that's a, that's a big section. We give you quite a few different drills to choose from here. And again, 361 plays. So uh, going back over here, I don't think we did this like we normally do, but here's the table of contents. You get your basic motion rules, uh, the ball position rules. So you go into um, the rules, uh, um, that we're going to be doing. We give you the personnel, uh, post play, the screening options. Then we give you the plays and um, 27, you get like over 50 different pages and, and, and counter plays. Um, and then you got the entries that get into the offense to disguise what it is that you want to do. And then we get into our practice drills. So um, it's a, an extremely effective offense. It's, it's hard to scout because um, really you don't really know what's coming. You can really ad lib a lot. Um, and it's basically just kind of predicated on making reads, even though there is a few continuity uh, actions that you can run. Um, it's, it's basically just, it's basically just kind of a free flowing offense um, and players are making reads off of, of what happens on the floor and, and how the defense plays them. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me at coach van at next play hoops. And uh, I hope you enjoy the, the video and the book and we'll see you at the next video. Thanks coach. Hey coach, so glad you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed it a lot. Actually, if you did, subscribe and like, and then go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better.